Hi there. Welcome to the video and welcome again. Thanks for watching. I, was gonna sh I wanna share with you some of, some of my daily practices spiritually that I've almost been practicing daily, more or less daily, for years now. But sometimes I forget to do it in a day, which is extremely rare. But it's, I'm really, really chill and relaxed and cool about it. But what I do do is I like to practice being here, wanting to be here more than there. So the state of human consciousness is they, they live in a state of always wanting to be there, the next moment, the next place, the end of the task that they're doing, the destination where they're going. They always want to be there instead of right here, right now, in this 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 uh, instant of the journey. So this is my my practice that I keep forgetting about, obviously, because the unconscious mind controls our life most of the time. Where when we're talking, we don't realize we're talking. It's sort of like unconscious sort of behavior talking. But the more you become conscious, the more you get to choose willfully your words. The more you get to choose your body movements and become more aware of your body movements, and the more you get to become more aware of your emotions and your thoughts. So it's really about um, becoming consciously aware of everything or anything in the moment, instead of the way our brain and our, our consciousness is being wired for us to just be sort of like reacting along to daily life, not paying much attention, living in a bit of a blur, living in a bit of a rush, which causes living in a lot of stress and tension and unease but the more we become aware and the more we actually happen to pay attention to the present moment the more we get to see things and the more we get to see things the more we get to appreciate what we see because when we don't even see things we can't even appreciate it because we don't even see it we don't even see it in the present moment so to keep it really simple i'm going to show you my most daily ordinary things that i might be doing which i am i'm, I'm participating in what you could call a spiritual practice okay so for example Here's some herb powder and some kelp. This is for my, my body. So what I might do is, for example, I don't want to be I don't want to be rushing to to finally drink the thing. I want to honor and give attention and worth and into the present moment. So I'll get my spoon and I'll do this. And then I'll measure a spoonful and I'll do that. And as I'm doing that, I'm I'm being aware or paying attention that I'm not rushing and I may be paying attention to the I might just notice for an instant the colour or the shape just notice my surroundings you know it's okay I'm here and then I'll I'll open the lid and then maybe I'll close the lid and maybe I'm aware of the sound it makes just aware that the powder exists and, I'm, and when, I, when you become aware that powder exists or you become aware that something exists there's a natural little there's a natural element of gratitude and happiness it's subtle it's not like jumping out of the house in, 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 in an exuberant exhilar ah, exhilarated ecstaticness but it's just a simple happiness a bit of peace a bit of Happiness, gratitude, gratitudeiness, and then I continue. Maybe warm my lemon juice up. This is all lemon juice, by the way. It's pure lemon juice with the herbs and some some tincture, some liquid. So anyway, I'll da 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 da. Nice and happy. Listen, oh, do you hear the drops? So. In a way, I'm trying to unwire my, my, my unconscious mind, which always wants to be at a destination, the future point. And you miss out on the whole journey when you're like that. It's not just when you're traveling places in your car, your truck, walking, cycling, running to the shop or anywhere, just, just to a person's house. When you're going to meet a person Try and enjoy the journey. See the things, breathe, and see the sky. Notice, 
basically put notice is the word you could use. Just notice stuff. Notice things. Pay, put a little bit of attention and notice. And slow down an, an instant so that you're not stressed but you're happy, you're, you get to enjoy the journey. And don't forget this is the journey is life. Because we're, we're always doing something or we're, we're generally doing something or have a plan or an agenda which involves the future. We want to get somewhere or do something. We, wanna, we want the dinner to be ready. We want to watch the film and get to the end of the film. We want to get to the end of the conversation so that somebody finally understands our point. <laughs> but it's about chilling a little bit, relaxing a little bit slowing down a little bit, not needing to be there and enjoying the journey right now and paying a little bit of attention to this instant and noticing what's here, you know, just looking at something. When you look at something like this you might think, hmm, who made that? Or where did that come from? And you can be happy that, that, you, that you have it that it's helpful to you in your life and you feel a little bit of happiness, appreciation type of feeling. So this can apply to everything in your life. So you just now today, if you so wish, just notice this in your life, within you, any uneasiness or tension or stress, okay? And notice now the primary thing the two primary, the three things to primarily notice, or the two things are your mind. The three of them are your mind, okay? Your thoughts, the images and pictures you're imagining and remembering and thinking about of the future. So notice your mind, first of all. Second of all, notice how this makes you feel emotionally. This is like essential for awareness, for understanding life and understanding yourself. <laughs> And understand the link between your mind and thoughts and the pictures and images and things you see happening, the movies in your head and your emotions. And also notice the, the link between your emotions and how they stimulate your thoughts to be maybe more, more frantic and quick, more fast paced, more judging, more negative possibly. And notice how this in turn makes you feel emotionally. So emotions and thoughts and emotions and the mind two things to notice but, but thirdly equally notice the, the, the present moment by looking maybe just looking looking primarily and then you can add in hearing for example I can hear the birds now in the rain and I can see raindrops and the sky so this is an extremely powerful practice for awareness and dissolving your conditioned automatic subconscious reflexive living where you're blurry and unaware. Second of all, it's a fantastic practice for relieving stress, panic, panic attacks, absolutely. Uneasiness or tension or, or, or anxiety because you get to notice how the mind and you imagining the future going wrong and things working out badly. You notice, like I said, that all this is in your head and it's causing you emotional suffering, tension and stress, anxiety. You notice that this is all in the future and it's not actually happening and you notice now where you are in the present moment is pretty safe and simple. And you're comfortable and warm most likely in clothes. You're not naked in a cave freezing to death <laughs> which in which case you might have a bit of a problem <laughs> but really even that wouldn't be a problem unless you label it a problem it would be a situation you have to deal with <laughs> so this will also help tremendously in you understanding other people as you understand yourself you'll understand how the mechanics and the workings and how other people behave the way they do and act the way they do and behave the way to do, behave and re respond. It is a very powerful practice, dear beautiful friend, beautiful lovely family member of earth and humanity. 
of adding in so, so much more happiness and contentment, appreciation and gratitude in life. You're fixing your whole life doing this. This is like the most powerful spiritual practice ever. Noticing. Becoming aware of. And not rushing and reaching to the future. Uh, in a mindless. In a mind full. Full of. In a mind full. Blur. So there's so much happiness and enjoyment you're going to get out of this life. You can transform your whole life. You're going to keep slipping back into unconscious reactivity and blurriness and fast, fast rushing, trying to, trying, trying stressfully to get to the future more than enjoying the, and living in the present moment. This is just normal and natural, and this is the way we've been made, and this is good, perfect, and proper, and it's all okay this way. But what you will do is you're going to do what, what I was do, have been doing and keep doing. You're just going to keep, keep. Make the intention to wish to put your attention in the, fu in the future. Put your attention in the present, sorry. Put the intention. Say that you want and you really wish to now live more in the present moment. And you're going to keep on putting your attention back into the present moment. And keep on noticing your thoughts especially. And your emo how you feel emotionally. And looking around to see the, the stuff that's around you in the present moment, okay? And the intention to slow down just a little bit and to choose to wish, to, to have the wish, to want to let go of the pull and the urge, the dysfunctional need to always be arriving in the, in the illusionary future end point where you want to finally reach. Usually that is in the forefront of, your, of people's consciousness. And what's happening now in the present moment is in the periphery, the side awareness. This is like the blurry living as I was talking about. But what we want to do is we want to switch it around oppositely, completely. We want where we're going and what our destination is in the periphery, the side least import, lesser important. And we want what we're doing right now in this instant and where we are to be in the forefront of our awareness and consciousness, okay? And and every every time you notice that you're gonna sleep in lost in thoughts again, and you'd lost your awareness, and you become you become you become lost in your your blurry rush and urge and need to get to the future point, even if it's just making making a cup of tea, or walking across. The, the street or the room to do or to do or get something you're going to keep on coming back back and back and back to, to, to changing your awareness primarily to what's happening right here now and where you are and where and and what's and maybe also if what thoughts or things are happening in your head and how you're feeling emotionally this is my number one spiritual practice that can transform and change your whole life and release all the hurt from your past like I said a little bit earlier in the video once you become aware of how your mind is causing you so much suffering emotionally you're gonna you're gonna also understand that this is just the ego playing games of trying to keep its identity of a victim alive and the pain the pain you want to be creating more pain as part of your story and your identity then you can allow it to drop through non-resistance and non-judgment like earlier mentioned I have other videos many other videos into these topics and and lots and lots of more videos you're more than welcome to have a look and to really enjoy to help put a smile on your face and brighten up your day to add more lightness and humor and happiness to your life more bet more better human connections to the world and to other people if you have any questions, please feel welcome to ask, and I'll be more than happy to try and answer it as best as I can. And enjoy this practice, my dear friends, and never get stressed or be too strict about this practice. It's natural that you're going to keep forgetting, but any time you notice that you've forgotten and been lost in your thoughts, that's when you're no longer lost in your thoughts, and you're no longer lost in the mind and the past and the future, thinking about the past and the future, and you've 
every time you notice you have then become aware and present again and enjoy this be happy for this and know that you will very quickly go off again but that's okay and then you'll come back again <laughs> so oh, <laughs> this is the end of the video now much love to you um, much love and peace to you Namaste. See ya. So, another very powerful thing you could add into this practice is to just pause a little bit. Pause during your day. Just take a few pauses wherever you are. Like, take a pause if it feels good to you. And use this pause to look around and pay attention and notice to where you are. So if this is when you're walking somewhere, you could just slow down and pause that way. Or you could literally just stop for a second or two or three or four. And just look around and pay attention to things that previously you were paying no attention to. This could be in your local daily life or in your garden. It could be outside in your town or community where you live. You may now... Notice the shops or the colours of the buildings or the, the decorations or the statues or the trees or the plants and flowers. You may notice these now for the first time and this will give you a little happy sense of happiness and gratitude. You'll be thankful for these things being in your life now. If it's in your home, you may notice things that may need tidying or cleaning. Possibly, you know, my partner Sally likes them there. If you're in, let's say you're, you could notice the carpet. And you're like, wow. Instead of walking over to the kitchen, you could just pause and look and say, oh, the carpet. You could notice, you may notice the carpet is nice. Or you could notice that the carpet needs cleaning and you can be happy and grateful for the carpet again. Or you could notice that maybe if you open the press... A lot of stuff here. <laughs> you just notice the place is a bit dirty, a little bit, whatever. You could just notice something. And uh, you're coming alive and more awake to the things you were previously asleep to, and it's a nice process, and it can bring much happiness to you. So there you go. That's another one. Okay.